Okay, so I just wanted to do a, a little bit of a video on the Route 66 Dr. Z amp, which you'll find in the Helix. I've not really used it up until this point, so here I'm on the clean channel. So this, this amp can kind of do a few different things, but essentially it's got this kind of... It's kind of thickness going on, which I like. So reading about the amp, apparently it's a 32 watt amp and its output tubes are KT66 which I guess is, is worth knowing about. In terms of what Dr. Z say it can do, say and think about kind of Eric Clapton tone on John Mayall's Blues Breaker album, it's saying it's also not a duplicate of the JTM45 but a spin on that kind of thing so maybe Marshally kind of thinking. Given that they've mentioned the Marshall JTM45 in that particular description, I guess you could think of this as being a kind of Marshall-esque amp. So, the moment I'm hitting it quite hard with a compressor, in terms of that's the... That's roughly the kind of stock settings there. I've brought the drive down, but as you bring the drive up, But yeah, just a really beautiful tone, I think. It's got this thickness that it wants to do. So if I turn off my kind of EQ heft thing. So this EQ is just giving it like a low end boost between the, the amp and the cab. To give more of that amp in the room type thing. What they say about this Dr. Z Route 66 amp is definitely true, like really nice thick tones and this particular cap doesn't have a high cut on it or anything so this is the amp that I'm pairing with the 4x12 Greenback 25 and a Shure SM57. And it's definitely not at all harsh to my ears. We boost the drive so the, the amount of gain on tap, so this is with a Firebird neck pickup. So without a boost. What I've been doing is kind of boosting it with a compressor, so with the drive all the way up on this compressor, which is giving a substantial boost. Uh, I'm just going to run now and turn that back down. So you've got that, that kind of really thick, juicy tone going on. Um, so now if I jump into my actual preset. So in my actual preset, I think you just... So in the actual preset, clean, just a really...
just super pretty, I think. And then here's the rhythm tone where I'm blending in two of these. So here I'm using uh, like a driven version of the amp, like 6.1, and then the clean as well. So I've got kind of those dual amp things going on. Different settings. my lead tone, kind of the typical thing that I like to do. That's why I think you should not follow my lead and don't wait till uh, it's too late to check out the Interstate Z. This is a really cool amp, so sort of in that Marshall JTM 45 family. I don't know any Eric Clapton, but yeah, that's uh, a really cool amp. Feel free to like and subscribe if this was at all useful. Let me know what you think of this particular amp model. I really, really like it. I think for cleans, um, you know, that edge breakup stuff, as well as lead tones, it seems to be covering an awful lot of ground. Just a really organic. and touch sensitive but feel free to check out this preset I'll drop it into the folder it will say Dr Z and that will be the, the thing um, I'll catch you in another video soon hope you have a good weekend oh here's an intro by the way now hi my name's John Corey I'd just like to show you the, the wonderful gardens in Tiverton uh, sort of come here sort of once twice a day just to hang out. You've never been here before. Oh, there's a bandstand. Yeah. Uh, Tiverton's supposed to be a dump, by the way, and this turns out it's quite nice. Hmm. Anyway, I like to come in here just really connect with nature. So annoying. You done? Of course. There's a very sad story. Uh, a traffic warden actually drowned in this pond, this lake, obviously. This is great. Where's your pen? What? Where's your pen? I'm trying to film an intro. Rumour has it that Deep Jimpact has a thing for manholes. Just a pro tip, if you're trying to place a poster outside, blue tack is not an appropriate adhesive. This is why if in a pro sign you see these little rivets. Yeah. Never blue tack. What's happened to that sign? It's gone in it. You got there Lenny? Your food. Yeah? Self scan is it. We'll need to approve this item when you pay. Oh, that's awkward. Please continue. You got ID? I've got no idea. Please wait. Assistance is coming. The registrar had a sign that said registrar engaged, so I asked him if anyone had ever said congratulations to him. What did he say, Liana? He said no. <laughs> but that was all he said. Yeah, sort of one off, aren't I? Say that again. Hmm? Say that again. I'm eating a drum. Yeah, but what were you saying? I said you've left the house for less than two hours and you've filmed about 700 videos. Every day is a grind, bro. He's wasting my effing time again.